been invited to very briefly give my personal reactions to what we all have just heard. And uh, it raises a number of thoughts with me that I'd love to share with you. The first thing is that what we witness is that scouts are formed one by one. Every single one of them is different, and they have their own stories. We've heard seven of them, but I believe that whenever we go around in the world and meet young people, they will tell their stories. Some of them are not as exciting as these, but they're all about young people who have been transformed through a very special program. And that very special program is, it's a very strange thing because scouts go through all sorts of weird activities. They go to camps and they light fires and they uh, uh, work with others and they have challenges, all sorts of things. And you might not think that what they learn there is more than just having fun. But I think what we've just seen is that that training does much more than uh, meets the eye. What meets the eye is young people who have fun together. But what happens underneath the surface is that young people who are fundamentally egoistic become responsible, and young people who are fundamentally dependent on others become, become autonomous. And scouting and the scout method is exactly about that transformation from thinking only about yourself, being egoistic and being dependent on others, transformed into adults who are responsible and autonomous. And a person who, are who is responsible and autonomous and have learned certain skills, that is what becomes a leader. And it strikes me that the, uh, what we are seeing, these are not 55-year-old successful business people. They are 19, 20, 25-year-old young people who have already matured through their scout work to an extent that if any of them would like a job in one of my companies, I'll hire them on the spot. I don't have a job to them, but I'm absolutely sure that this type of young person can do anything. I'm sure we'll find a job to them. And I trust that those of you who run businesses will say the same thing. Good heaven, let's have some of these people with us. They're actually a large group of people. And a thought that struck me is one I have shared with some of you before, but it came very, very clearly through today. And that is that these 51 million young people that are currently going through the scout training, these are not just scouting. Scouting is much greater than that because over the years, there are more than 600 million adults who have gone through an average of three years scout training. And the thought that came to me is that if I could form a country, a virtual country, consisting of these 600 million people with the scout background, wow, that would be the best country on earth to live in. And that country is actually not only a dream, it is a reality. Because every person who has gone through the scout training carries two passports. One is his national passport, mine is Danish. The other one is my scout passport, and that's a virtual one. And it's actually engraved in my brain. And I know the values of that country. They are the scout law. And we don't need millions of pages of legislation to make this work. We, meet, we only need the scout law. And it can be written on the back of a stamp. 
that's it. This is the value system that ties all these people together. And if you could imagine a country where everybody has made the promise to live according to that law, not only while they are scouts, but for the rest of their lives, that country can do anything. Uh, it would not need a large police force because, you know, they, ha they know how to behave and they know how to appreciate diversity. It would not need, uh, it has a, actually a very large education system because that's the 51 million members. And it would not need a very big administration. In fact, it does have an administration on the global scale, which is 140 people. And these guys are administrating what happens in 170 countries around the world with 51 million members. It wouldn't need a big public sector because there would be like anywhere between 5 and 10 million adult volunteers who would run the show. So the people we've just seen are seven representatives of that country. And I trust that you'll agree with me that they will make a big difference and the 51 million others can make a huge difference for the coming 50 years of their lifetime and maybe even 60. So that's what we are facing and that's my reaction to this group of people. I hope you share with me the pride that this is what all of us are in business to develop which is what the scout leaders from the World Scout Committee do. They develop this. The rest of us support it. And uh, I feel incredibly proud to, together with you, to be a supporter to this. So the story is simple. If you want more of this, you know what to do. Thank you.